What's going on guys, it's Nerva here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a inside design for the inside of your base, pretty much. So, here we have first just uh, using a ladder to center off storage boxes and then placing them on the sides of your base. So, pretty much this base, it can. this is a 3x3 three three I did. It can be 2x2, two 2x3, two, two whatever you want to do. But, if it is smaller, just put less storage boxes. Alright, so then I place a table and I put some mortar and pestles on top which saves space instead of just putting them on the floor because you can have multi you can have even more uh, mortar and pestles. Like you can place them on the ground right there. And I end up uh, messing it up a little bit but it's okay. Like I forgot to move them over a little bit farther to the right but it's okay. Alright, so after that what you're going to want to do is place um, stone hatch frames on top and this makes it makes uh like a little hole in the middle where the door would go and you can place like refinery forges and everything on top and this is perfect so that you have less clutter in the base and you can have more uh, refinery forges and be able to reach them from different angles in the base so i also put preserving bins up there and uh, I thought that uh, in the storage bins, if you look, they're kind of glitching through, but that, that's okay. Anyways, um, so this next strategy is placing mass placing smithies for storage in like small areas. So what you do, you lay across some large bear traps along the uh, whatever space you want to place these smithies. And at the beginning, I don't really get the hang of it, but as you can see right there, you can kind of glitch them inside of each other and get like a ton of smithies right next to each other. And this is amazing for storage and um, if you want to just, because it's 75 spaces per, so you can fit a lot of stuff in there. And I end up putting down, I think it was like 10 or 12 smithies, so it's insane. And after you can always pick up the, uh, the bear traps. I, I don't know why, but the bear traps are needed in order to do this little glitch. Alright, moving on to the next uh, thing. So, pretty much after you place down all the smithies and you have all the storage boxes in back with the refinery forges and the mortar pestles, you can start making a little room above the smithies. Which, and this is for a 3x3. Um, here, at the end, it was supposed to be a, a stone ceiling. I don't know why I put a little hatch room. But, what you're going to do is uh, place the uh, a ladder going up to the top and then also some uh, trap doors uh, where the uh, hatch frames are and putting trap doors there makes it so you can open up the, uh, the bottom and you can get to your smithy and all that from up in this little vault area so if you're being raided and you need something pop that open and you can uh, get into the smithy. So I placed, uh, you can place unlimited beds to be honest, as long as you, uh, because they stack now, so that's pretty cool. Um, and I also put mortar and pestles up there because they have a lot of, uh, they're really small, plus they have a lot of storage space. So that pretty much wraps up the design for 3x3. I left a big space open in the middle. To be honest, if you wanted, you could cut down that whole space and where I'm walking right now, that could just be the aisle and you can have it only, uh, two in uh width wise instead of three but um if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos just like this hope you guys have a great night and i'll see you in my next video